there is a, there is some three three thousand guy who wants to play with an increment. So yeah, I'll probably play this one and um, and then we'll call it a day. Let's play something fancy. Let's play the Banco Gambit maybe. Okay, let's play it with E6. And yeah, this bishop e7 is kind of not completely pointless. Yeah, then I guess you cancel. Bishop c4. I think this was possible as well. Maybe we just uh, take on d5 here. There is also a fancy idea of rook takes a6 in many lines, but uh, the problem is not is not bishop takes a6, but it's you know sometimes black will feel feel bad after just a random move. There is not much for the rook to do there. Okay, so now saying that I will I'm tempted by playing rook takes a6. But I think I have to take with the bishop, which is a bit sad. Yeah, and check and queen takes a6 looks looks logical. He hasn't castle yet, which makes it um, which makes it a bit uncomfortable for white to play. But uh, yeah, looks good for white all in all. The other hand, it's, you know, it may look good, but you have to play moves. He plays bishop c3, which is uh, very, very logical. Does he want to castle long at some point? It's hard to believe, to be honest. Okay, so how should we play this? Maybe just rook e8, bishop f8, like let him play moves. By the way, d7 is sort of hanging here. Okay, let's go to d8 then. Plays knight f4. Okay. So now we can... Um, yeah, we have moves. We can even play knight before. We can also play bishop f8 simply. Okay, so let's say bishop f8. He probably just wants to play queen d3 and uh, castle then. Making sure he's never worse. Yeah, this is not kind of kind of an opening you, you should play against a strong player. On the other hand, I played it against Nakamura. <laughs> So it's not that I don't think he's a good player. <laughs> what I like is that with the bishop on f8, there is not much to blunder. Like we prevented all the knight h5 stuff. Yeah, he simply plays a3, literally asking for knight b4 in some of the lines. Wow, a3 is a bit surprising. This this basically means he, he does not really know what to do. He's probably try, trying to prepare some uh, castling long or um, um, yeah, or maybe rook d1. We can play knight b4, takes, takes a4, and then something like rook d2, c8. Shouldn't be too good, shouldn't be too bad either. Yeah, on the other hand, like whatever we play, queen d3 is still there. So yeah, I mean, in general, 
we have to do something, unfortunately. Okay, we cannot wait, wait forever. Let's go night before. Bishop before, c before, a4, and then something like b3, maybe. Or rook d to c8. Okay, we have queen d3 in all, in all of these lines. But, yeah, I mean, black should probably hold there. He, he keeps uh, thinking what makes me feel nervous. Like, what else do you consider? No, there's nothing I can take. Queen d3. Okay, this is basically a draw for... Um, Yeah, okay. Have to have to go for it. I mean he probably wants to to play this a little. Claiming that it is not exactly a draw. Mm. Okay, let's say bishop d6. Yeah, what I'm doing is uh, is actually strange. Yeah, I blundered the pawn, actually. Can I take on h2 there? No, no. Yeah, somehow I was not ready for playing this 4 against 4. Now I have to work. Yeah, bishop d8. d5. Yeah, then he will get um, knight b8 or this way, yeah, and he can play forever. <laughs> this is not exactly what you want from the Bunter Blitz, I must say. Okay. E4 is a bit of a relief. I mean, the move is completely fine, but at least he he's not trying to wait for 50 moves to improve. Yeah, maybe check. I guess we simply trade. Yeah, and then we start waiting somehow. I mean, whenever he goes too far with the king, there is bishop e1. Okay, then we have a check. Yeah, I can probably even play f6. Yeah, I guess I can. Yeah, takes, takes. Makes it a bit easier. Keep waiting. Keep waiting. I mean, I could have played g5 probably, but I don't want to do such thing uh, down to like one second. So I'll just, I'll just prefer to uh, to wait and gain some time. Knight g2, okay, king f5 maybe. Knight g3, maybe king f6 even. And bishop a7. Maybe king e6. King e6 was not brilliant, by the way. I'm actually about to let him... Like, let him get exactly what he's trying to get. Which is still a draw. But um, less comfortable draw, I would say. Maybe I could have taken, but once again, with five seconds, you don't want to do such thing. He's actually sh short on time now as well.
This allows bishop e7. Okay, go back. Bishop d4, I think we had this already. Bishop c3, maybe. Brings knight to f1, okay. And g4. g4 is a relief. Now it has to be even more simple. I think we pretty much wait, whatever happens. Okay, king uh, maybe f6, bishop to c7. There is not much going on here. Okay, maybe king f5, king e6, bishop d8. Now we wait this way. Okay. Okay, king f7. You got this, but this is still, you know, very drawish. Okay, whatever. Is there a 50 move rule here? He he's playing a bit like Nihal Sarin, to be honest. He sort of plays like a chicken. Then he gets this, you know, dead draw with a little chance, and then he, he tries to play it forever. Pretending he's better. Okay. 